They uh, just are a fantastically colorful football team. The record indicates how good a football team they are. Uh, we're tremendously impressed by the enthusiasm that Coach Holtz brings to the team and to the fans of this area. And we just want to bring that whole atmosphere out to Phoenix, let them enjoy us, and let us enjoy them. Coach Holtz, President Pickett, and every one of you here have a hell of a time. We are the number one ball in the country. <laughs> The Razorback rode to Phoenix and the Fiesta Bowl began as Arkansas opened the 1978 season before a record crowd of 55,718 at War Memorial Stadium and quickly slammed Vanderbilt with a great defensive play. Quarterback Van Heflin backs up and is sacked by Jimmy Walker for a 10-yard loss. Then with a 7-0 lead, Arkansas gets on the move as Ben Cowens cuts over left tackle and races 42 yards to the Commodore 7-yard line. A play later, Ron Calcagney sprints around right end and the Razorbacks lead 14-0. Quarterback Kevin Scanlon wastes little time after a Vanderbilt turnover as he hits Robert Farrell on this 30-yard pass to the two-yard line, setting up another touchdown. After Vanderbilt closed the gap to 24-17, freshman Thomas Brown introduces himself with this 96-yard touchdown run with a kickoff. Brown was to rank among the nation's kickoff return leaders all season long. 96 yards. Then Scanlon and Farrell team up again with this second effort resulting in another Razorback score. Mike Scott then gets the call and the senior races 33 yards to set up the final score in a 48-17 Razorback victory. A bright, bright, sunshiny day, and Oklahoma State awaited the Razorbacks at Stillwater. The defense was aroused early. Oklahoma State quarterback Scott Burke is rushed into throwing, and William Hampton picks off the pass to halt an early Cowboy threat. This sets the stage for a Razorback defense all season. The Razorbacks came up with big defensive play after big defensive play throughout the year. The big play was almost the rule as Arkansas dealt opponents 91 losses totaling 393 yards. Dan Hampton and Jimmy Walker earned first team All-American honors and Vaughn Lusby was a second team selection. The defensive staff of Monty Kiffin, Bob Cope, Harold Horton and John Mitchell could take pride in this work as well as that of the remainder of the season. Arkansas defense at its best. Meanwhile, the Razorback offense responded in the second half as Jerry Eckwood set sail 51 yards around right end to start a scoring march. Then, two plays later, Cowens gets the call and runs down the sideline for 25 yards and a touchdown. Oklahoma State threatens on fourth down at the Arkansas 13, and the Hog defense smothers Burke for a yard loss. Eckwood then pulls up and throws a halfback pass to Charlie Clay for 16 yards to set up This 24-yard Ish Ordonis field goal, giving the Porkers a 13-7 lead. After the Hogs cash in on a turnover for the touchdown, first Dan Hampton, and then Jimmy Walker sealed the Cowboys' fate with quarterback sacks as Arkansas wins 19-7.
Tulsa brought an unbeaten team into Razorback Stadium and another record crowd of 45,428 basked in the sunlight as the Hurricane took a 7-0 advantage, even though Jim Howard halted this pass play for a four-yard loss. And Jimmy Walker tackles Tulsa's Dave Rader on an eight-yard sack. The aroused Porker defense again dumps Rader in the second half to help give the offense good field position. So, Ben Cowens gets the call of a right tackle, and the Porkers are on the scoreboard from 24 yards out. Then Ron Calcagney wastes little time at hitting Gary Stiggers for 15 yards deep in Tulsa territory. And again, it's Cowens who uses every effort to put Arkansas on top, 14 to 7. The defense rises to the occasion as Walker slams Raider for a 9-yard loss. And then Dan Hampton gives him another setback. Once more, Walker corrals Raider for a nine-yard loss. And when Tulsa does get a pass off, watch Mike Massey's great individual effort pay off. Seconds later, it's Jerry Eckwood who provides an insurance touchdown from five yards out. So it's left to Walker to get his fourth sack for a total of 43 yards in losses. As Arkansas goes 3-0 on the season, 21-13. A record Arkansas TCU crowd of 54,430 jams War Memorial Stadium to see if the Hogs can defeat the Frogs for a record 20th consecutive year. The answer to that question wasn't long in coming. On the first possession, Ron Calcagney scrambles at right end for 12 yards, and Arkansas had good field position. On third and one, Arkansas goes outside with Roland Sales for 20 yards and a first down at the six. The Hogs soon led seven to nothing. The Frogs then tried the flanks, only to have Kirk Wolfolk deal a four-yard loss. Even in slow motion, Dan Hampton is too fast on a six-yard sack of Steve Bayou. Thwarted on the ground, Bayouk takes to the air with disastrous results as Trent Bryant makes an interception. And when TCU finally gets a drive going, Marty Mitchum halts it with a 12-yard trap of quarterback Bayouk. Faced with a third down of its own, Arkansas moves the stakes as Cowens goes 18 yards with this Cal Cagney dump to set up a 28-3 halftime bulge. Cowens again gets yardage over right tackle, 17 yards worth this time. William Hampton keeps the Frogs bottled up by leaping high for another interception. Senior quarterback Mike Scott and some new faces get a chance as Hiram Wright follows his blocking for 35 yards. Joe Shantz alertly falls on the drop football at the end of this play. Freshman Randy Wessinger keeps for nine yards in the final touchdown in the 42-3 victory in the conference opener. Over 78,000 folks were on hand as Arkansas and Texas met in the traditional interstate battle, which drew television coverage for the 12th time in 15 seasons. Never has a team struck so quickly, however. Ron Calcagney keeps up the middle for seven yards. Then it's outside as Ben Cowens follows Michael Forrest's block up the boundary for 32 yards. Now Jerry Eckwood gets the call and cuts past one, two, and three Longhorns for 23 yards. 
With a game barely three minutes old, tackle Philip Moon cuts off two Texans, and Cowens is over for a 7-0 lead. Trailing by two touchdowns, Ron Calcagney hurls a 25-yard pass over the middle, which Bobby Duckworth snags off his shoelaces. Now it's a pitch to Eckwood, and the fifth-year senior gets 15 big yards. Then on fourth down, Cal Cagney fights his way in for the touchdown. With the ball again, Eckwood finds daylight for 15 yards. A major penalty doesn't halt the march, though. Cal Cagney finds Cowan for 19 more. And then connects with Duckworth, who uses a Robert Farrell block to score. The extra point puts Arkansas ahead 21 to 20. That lead wouldn't last, however. The Texas loss had to be forgotten because Houston had a standing room only crowd at the Astrodome was next on the agenda. Arkansas was nearly devastating early. Ben Cowan started a 61-yard march with an 11-yard gain. The slow motion camera shows the elusive Jerry Eckwood slashing his way for 13 yards. Ish Ordonez then booted a 27-yard field goal, and the Razorbacks claimed a 3 to nothing edge. The Porkers went to the air on the next possession as Ron Calcagney lofted this 28-yard spiral to Gary Stiggers. The diminutive Ordonez was a big man with his second field goal, this one a 42-yard shot. The defense shows alertness as... Willie Hampton and Jim Howard chase Danny Davis out of the pocket, forcing a punt. Cal Cagney goes to the air, and Stiggers outmaneuvers the Cougars on a 44-yard reception. Cal Cagney wants to pass, but is flushed from the pocket. He fakes a defender and scrambles to the Houston 18-yard line. Then Ordonis gets the hat trick on the 27-yarder that puts Arkansas ahead 9 to nothing. Late in the first half, Houston tries a reverse. Howard isn't fooled, and it's a two-yard loss. Davis tries a sprint out pass, but Dale White gets his hand on the ball for an incompletion. Now the Cougars try to drop back. White halts the final second quarter threat with this eight-yard sack. But the margin didn't stand up in the final 30 minutes, and the Porkers were suddenly out of the conference race. With a 4-2 record, Arkansas returned home to yet another record crowd for homecoming. The Razorbacks rallied around Coach Lou Holtz and set just one goal to be 5-2. and two. two possessions, and the Hogs would be on their way. Ben Cowens provides 12 of the yards on the 17-play opening drive. Ron Calcagney hits Cowboy Forrest on the first pass of the march for seven yards. And the senior quarterback gets the touchdown on fourth down from the one-yard line. Rice makes a foray into Arkansas territory only to meet Jimmy Walker on a 14-yard blitz. Calcagney then backs up and finds sales for 15 yards putting the ball in scoring position for a 14-0 margin at halftime. Later, Cowan shows the best plays are sometimes the ones improvised on the field. Here he saves a bad pitch and goes 19 yards.
Guard George Stewart opens a hole and Forrest becomes his own blocker at the goal line for a 21-0 lead. Facing third down, Cal Cagney again finds Sales wide open in the right flank. He dodges a tackler and gets down to the one-yard line where two plays later, Cal Cagney scored his third touchdown of the day. Meanwhile, the defense gets some points on the board as Dan Hampton traps Robert Hoffman for a safety. And a play later, Cal Cagney lets Jerry Sullivan run interference and lost a picture-perfect 47-yard scoring pass to Robert Farrell as Arkansas robs home 37-7. The Razorbacks were next guests at Baylor's homecoming. The main course was Bear turnovers, seven of them. After the first fumble, Ben Cowan gets the call for 19 yards to the Bears' 17 to set up a field goal. The Bears march right back into Arkansas territory until Larry Jackson applies a crunching tackle and Dan Hampton falls upon another Baylor fumble. Late in the second quarter, Ron Calcagney welcomes Donnie Bobo back from the injury list on an 18-yard pass. Cal Cagney spots Bobo open among three Baylor backs and drills a 19-yarder. With the Bears conscious of the middle routes, Cal Cagney crosses them up on a screen to Jerry Eckwood. He's disappointed at stepping out of bounds inside the five-yard line. No matter, a play later, Eckwood slams over from four yards out as the Porkers take a 10-0 intermission advantage. Baylor threatens early in the third quarter. The slow motion camera reveals another Baylor turnover. This time a pass right into the waiting arms of Jim Howard. Now on Baylor's end of the field, Cal Cagney connects with Eckwood who runs 20 yards. Following a turnover exchange, Cal Cagney cuts behind the defense and goes into the end zone for a 17-point difference. Dan Hampton rips the ball from Walter Abercrombie, and Mike Massey recovers in midair to set up the final Arkansas touchdown. So it's left to Vaughn Lusby to apply the clincher in a 27-14 victory with this interception. As millions watched at home on ABC TV, over 54,000 filled War Memorial Stadium, and a seemingly multitude of bowl scouts nervously awaited the outcome. Arkansas and Texas A&M collided with identical records of 6-2. Leading 7-0, Texas A&M is jolted as Dan Hampton slaps the ball away, William Hampton scoops up the fumble, and the Razorbacks are in business. From the 8th, Ron Calcagney keeps for the touchdown and starts on his way to winning ABC TV's Offensive Player Honors. From his own 7, Ben Cowens initiates a big drive with a 10-yard run. Great balance. Cowens then goes 29 yards to break Arkansas's career rushing record. The senior runner finished his brilliant Razorback career with 3,570 yards. After Ordonis kicked the Porkers in front, Jerry Eckwood slides 13 yards to allow another three-pointer as Arkansas led 13-7 at halftime. Now the defense takes over. 
A&M's Mike Mosley fires over the middle, and Lusby is there. The senior defensive back returns it 20 yards. A play later, Eckwood glides over right tackle for 11 big yards. Cal Cagney keeps it right tackle, and Arkansas has a 19-7 ball. The defense then tees off on the Aggies' nationally ranked offense. Howard gets a 10-yard sack. First, Jerry Saxton gets a hand on Mosley. Then Walker wraps him up for 13 yards. The frontal attack failing, Mosley beats a fast retreat, which results in a 23-yard loss when Saxton and Brad Schaff arrive on the scene. The ensuing touchdown gives Arkansas a 26-7 victory and a Christmas Day trip to the Fiesta Bowl. As Arkansas ran onto the Cotton Bowl's turf, there remains some unfinished business. The SMU Mustangs on a threatening day in Dallas. SMU made more noise than the weatherman, grabbing a 14-0 lead over the Sun visitors. Kevin Scanlon came off the bench and scrambled the Razorbacks into scoring position on a 10-yard run. And Ron Calcagney puts the Hogs on the scoreboard with this keeper. The defense comes to life as Dan Hepton gets a shirt sleeve. And then SMU quarterback Mike Ford. With only a minute left till intermission, Cal Cagney drills Dottie Bobo for 11 yards. Then Cal Cagney hits Ben Cowens, and he cuts inside Jerry Eckwood's block for 16 more. Cowens gets to the five on a quick opener. But time runs out, and the Hogs settle for a 22-yard field goal at halftime. In the third quarter, Cowens blocks, and Eckwood gains 15 yards around left end. Roland Sales cuts behind Eckwood's block and gets 12 more big yards. The 71-yard drive culminates as Sales sprints 17 yards around left end for a 17-14 Arkansas lead. SMU marches to midfield, but Larry Jackson is in the right place at the right time for another interception. Facing third and five, Cal Cagney takes matters into his own hands on this driving 21-yard keeper. Cal Cagney goes to the air, and with the defender at his feet, he lost the pass toward Robert Farrell surrounded in the end zone. But Farrell goes up and gets the Hogs a 24-14 lead. After a turnover, Arkansas drives again as Michael Forrest bulls his way for 16 yards. And Ordonis adds a field goal for the final 27-14 count. With possible conference championship marbles on the line, Arkansas matched its four-game win streak in national ranking against Texas Tech in the Red Raiders' six-game winning streak. Ron Calcagney found tight end Charles Clay open for 25 yards and a first down. All of this started against the 22-mile-an-hour win. Then Ben Cowens turned a delayed pitch from Calcagney into a 22-yard gain to set up the first score. After a turnover produced a touchdown, Arkansas was threatening again as Jerry Eckwood raced for 11 yards. Then Cowens found that familiar crease behind Greg Colinda for 11 more yards. Eckwood scored the six points that Arkansas had 21 going against the win.
Before the quarter was over, Cowens had another drive alive with a 23-yard run. He wound up the day with 148 yards and the season with 1,006. The big fellow they call Cowboy, Michael Forrest, then supplied a painful stiff arm and went 48 yards for a 28-0 lead on the first play of the second period. A touchdown later, Cal Cagney used the win for a 16-yard pass to Clay across midfield. And in slow motion, Cowens gets his final touchdown, a five-yard piece of art, which put Arkansas ahead 40 to nothing at halftime. It remained for Thomas Brown to break loose in the fourth quarter on this explosive 47-yard tightrope to the left corner. And Arkansas had 49 points, equaling the school record for points in a conference game. For the day, Arkansas finished with 520 yards rushing, its second best land figure and best ever against a major college opponent. The kind of performance which would excite offensive coaches Larry Bechtel, Jess Branch, Don Bro, John Constantinos, and Ken Turner. The Tech victory gave Arkansas a 9-2 record and two-year mark exceeded only by one other team in America. But more importantly, it proved an axiom that Lou Holtz has told his team over and over. Great seasons don't just happen. They're usually the result of seniors playing the best football of their collective careers. Arkansas had 16 seniors in 1978, and they followed this creed. When the going got tough after the Houston loss, they responded and responded. What lies ahead remains to be seen. But one thing is sure, the Arkansas Razorbacks are building solidly upon the already great tradition.